You talk about, you know, at one point you were warming up for, you know, for headline acts whose records you actually have in your crate. Right. And then you actually got to a point where some of these guys are opening up for you. Tell us what that was like, like when you realize that the guys that you actually, whose records you buy and go out digging for, who you've looked up to, listen to and idolized, now you're actually headlining these guys. I mean, was that a trip? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, because on, on one hand, you know, you have to, look, if someone's putting you on a festival or putting you on a show or putting on putting you on somewhere and, you know, you got a hot record out or whatever it is, you're, they're going to place you where the demand is at the moment. And if you're another act and you're dope, but maybe you don't have a record out or maybe whatever it is, they're going to put you underneath the person who is, you know, that, I, I realize the ebb and flow of it because I've seen it in both ways. I've seen it on the come up and I've seen it on the, on the come down. I've seen it go back up again. And so now it's way easy for me to, to understand it. And not, I don't really, it's all irrelevant because I don't really look at it as like this year I'm hot. Last year I wasn't, I don't really care. Like none of that really matters to me. What matters to me is being, having longevity in this game. I remember uh, Q-Tip had opened for me at one point or had gone on before me. I, it, see, see, it's the thing. It's like saying someone opened for me is not really the – that's not – like I want to be clear. He went on before me. Um, and the thing that, you know, in in other people's eyes, they would be like, oh, yeah, Z-Trip headlined. But Q-Tip murdered it that night and made it really difficult for me because he'd rinse that crowd out and I had to go on and, and pick up the pieces. And – um I would, I would have much rather gone on before him. You know what I mean? Like, much mm. rather. But sometimes, it's, you know, don't be careful what you wish for or what you hope for because, you know, just because where you are in the bill, sometimes it, it's not, you're not in the best position, even though your name might be at the end. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many reasons why it's like, I, I prefer, to be honest, I prefer going on, you know, right before somebody else finishes it because two things a i can set that person up <clears throat> i can have a great show but then i can actually sit down and enjoy a show for a little bit mm. when you're the caboose you're watching everything come before you and there's also the thing when you're the caboose as a dj there's nothing worse than that because if it's all djs before you they rinse out all the good shit and then you're left with like okay well what hasn't been played and it's like pretty much you're just dealing with like Anything that's not the biggest tune at the time, like oh the bay sides, yeah, yeah. Which, but you know, I've I found ways to sort of navigate around that because mm -hmm. I'm I'm clever and can do that. But it's it's still a compromising position where it's like, had I only gone on like an hour or two earlier, I could have got a piece of that, you know, that pizza. But it's all ate up now. It's all gone. <laughs> so all, all you got left is the crust. Yeah, that's yeah, it. You get there, you're like, all right, crust, crust part. Is, is there any dipping sauce? To dip? No, just just crust. Okay, we're just crust tonight. So, you know what I mean? Like, so that's why it's like headliner, opener. It's all irrelevant, man, after a while, because it's, it's again, you know, I remember when I won America's Best DJ. It was like, cool, I'm at the top. I won the award for Best DJ. Um, the only place to go from there is down. You know what I mean? Inevitably, there's got to be somebody new. And I love the fact that for, you know, for a long time, I was either on my way up or down, but I was always in the top 10 to 15, you know, DJs. And that to me, that's success. Being number one is not, it's successful, but success is being able to, to headline and to open is being able to have a career and do this for 20 years and know mm -hmm. that, you know, if you don't put anything out for a minute, you fall to the back. And then when you put stuff out again, you rise to the front again and the ebb and the flow. And just, but just knowing that at the end of the day, even on my lowest, I've still got crowds of people who are still willing to come out and mm. support. Um, and that's, that's to me that again, that's success to be able to come out here and, and play, you know, in Adelaide, like 
you know, to me, that's I, there's guys who are you know back home who haven't even played outside of their own city. You know what I mean? This is huge, and when you take shit for like this for granted, like to me, that's when it's when it's uh, that's that's when it's wrong. You know what I mean? So for me, I, I'm it's it's irrelevant. I stopped putting you know weight into um into uh, you know gauging things by uh you know the merit of what they're worth you know oh yeah you're number one this or you're number five that's like nah i'm doing this for a living i'm i'm playing music for people for a living you know and i'm able to travel around the world and spread this music to people like that's that's the winning ticket right there Mm. to be able to do that consistently The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.